Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. Today we're going to be making another crate for Mr. Tibbs Trading Company. Now we've done a couple of prototypes in the past. The first one they really loved, but they wanted some different hardware and it was a little bit too big for what they needed. The second one they really liked the size of it, but again we're still working with the hardware components and they want to be able to brand the crate with their logo. So we're going to try a couple of different finishing techniques to help reach that goal. All right, so we've got some boards here uh, from some pallets. We talked about our love of pallet wood and reclaimed wood. These are oak boards, and you can see they've, they're weathered a little bit. They're kind of beaten up. So we are going to take this planer. We picked this up at Harbor Freight. It's called a Drill Master. It's kind of inexpensive as far as planers go, and we are going to try to make this wood um, kind of look like something you'd see in the store. So let's give this a try. We have this set on the lowest setting, and we're just gonna kinda of give it a little shave, clean it up a little bit. Here we go. All right, as you can see, we have a hose that's going into the planer here. This is going to our shop back because if you don't have some kind of dust collection uh, on your planer, it's gonna get real messy real fast. So let's get started. We flipped our board over. We did use this on the lowest setting for the first side. We had to make several passes. So we've cranked this up to 132nd um, and we're going to point the other side. Let's give this a go. Now, now you can see all of our boards are plain, good, and smooth. Now, we need these to be three inches wide, so I'm going to have to take about an eighth of an inch off of each side. They're about three and a quarter. So, we're going to joint these edges. All these boards, we've got 14 of them, I believe, so this will take a little bit. All right, we got one side. Now we'll move our fence down to three inches and finish them up.
All right, now we've got all of our boards ripped for all four sides, the bottom and the lid for our crate. We're gonna cut up some uh, boards right now for the framing. These are gonna be one inch wide. So we'll go ahead and rip those. The next step in our project, we're going to cut uh, some boards for the floor of the box. Now we've already taken these over to the miter saw and given them a nice clean cut on one edge so we have a nice square edge to measure from. We're going to measure these at 12 inches. We have our stop block set up here at 12 inches so we can make sure all of these are cut exactly the same way. Okay, before we start assembling the floor, we're just going to give these a nice light sanding. Uh, because of the planing, it doesn't really require too much, but there is some little excess roughness that we didn't catch with the planer. So let's hit this with some any grit and we'll move on. Boards for our crank are all cut and sanded. Went ahead and cut the uh, frame strips here. We're going to go ahead and assemble this with some wood glue and an 18 gauge brad nailer with three quarter inch nails. We're going to put together our side panels. It's a real similar process to how we built the floor. So let's get started. planks for the front and back panels of the box and um, this is going to be 14 inches and since we're using a stop block on the miter saw I'm just going to mark one um, marking all of them is kind of a waste of time
right, we're in the home stretch. This is going to be the front panel of our box. So what we're going to do first is glue together the joints. got a couple of places marked here. These are going to be some strips to go on the outside. Um, with this box, the um, customers wanted to have like an inverted frame, so it made it look like an old style shipping crate. So I think it's going to look really cute. Um, we're going to go ahead, glue these on, and give it just a second to kind of get tacky, then flip it over and nail it together. for the lid, but we realized that math is a pretty important fundamental skill. Let's show them what we mean. So in the beginning, we thought, oh, we're just going to cut all the widths of our boards at three inches. Made it nice and easy, uniform, one setting on the table saw. But as you can see, we have more than nine inches across our box. So, we came up with a solution. We have another board that we cut um, to the width that we needed to make up the difference. So, not a disaster, not a tragedy. However, the front of our box did become the back of our box because we had another problem. We'll go into that later. We've got our lid assembled. We have just a little bit more cutting to do and we'll be ready for the hardware. Now this was originally going to be the front of the box and you can probably see why it no longer is. We're going to make this the back now because these strips were supposed to come all the way up here and cover the edge of these and uh, we miscalculated our measurement on that. So we're going to measure the other side all the way up to the top of these. Put those on we'll be ready for hardware. All right, we've made it to the hardware. We're going to start with our little butterfly hinges here. Now hopefully these screws are small enough to where they won't 
crack this oak. I don't think we'll need pilot holes with these. Now for a latch on this crate, we're going to use rope cleats, and uh, I'm going to drill pilot holes for these because the screws are a little bit bigger than the hinge screws. I'm afraid they will split this oak. We're down to the final step in our project and that's finishing this box. So we're just going to do something super simple. We're going to be using some paste wax just to kind of condition the wood, give it a little bit of a shine. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. So let's get started. soak into the box for about 20 minutes so we're going to give this a little buff see what kind of shine we can get out of it and we're going to call it a night Well, it's finished. Another crate built out of pallet wood. This one has a more classic look to it with the rope cleats and the butterfly hinges, all this exterior framing and stuff. I think it turned out pretty nice. We are really happy with how this crate turned out and we're excited to see how everyone over at Mr. Tibbs Trading Company feels about it as well. If you enjoyed this project, be sure to stay tuned right here on our YouTube channel, Woods on Spy Russell. Like, subscribe, never miss an episode. Join us on Facebook too, we're on there as well. Thanks again for joining us. Happy woodworking. Mm -hmm.